I will not redigitize this file. I will not redigitize this file. Hey everyone, John Deere here from John Deere's Embroidery Legacy, and I had to meditate on this one and talk myself out of redigitizing this. You can see on screen that this design looks like a disaster. At first, I thought it was a machine issue because of the you know loops and all the unclean areas of the design and I was a little surprised because I knew that this was sent in by somebody who uses Hatch and usually even under the worst scenario the output stitch files within Hatch are usually pretty good so this is a real mystery and I think the only way to solve it is if you come join me and we'll check out this file together now I've brought the design into Hatch and I've brought it up to full screen and the first thing I notice is that the stitch count is over 19,000 stitches and if I look at the size it's actually 87 millimeters which is I think just under four and a half inches in width so to have that many stitches in a small area like like that is you know kind of a red flag right there now I'm gonna select just the white colors and I'm going to make them a slightly different color on screen just so we have a better look at what's going on and I'm gonna to go to my player and I'm going to do a quick redraw and I'm gonna look at how this is stitching out uh, I can see actually that there is overlap on those areas. They've changed stitch directions. Uh, none of this really concerns me. Everything looks pretty good as far as all of that's concerned. And then it does the detail. Now, I might want to see some edge run on some of these objects uh, just to make sure they stay a little bit cleaner and crisper when they sew out. But there's nothing really there that bothers me either. Now, coming to this, I actually I can see exactly what's happening. Uh, if you look at this, I can tell that it's actually doing a 3D satin stitch, which um, that is actually not the right stitch type to be using in this situation. And then I can see that it's a 3D satin going down in these two bars that are being sewn as well. And they actually should be underneath of this object, not on top of it, uh, as you can see there. And then if I look at the lettering actually all the lettering is using a 3d stitch as well so that is actually the main culprit i can see changing some of the underlay values of some of these objects so that it sews out better for you know apparel because i i believe this is being done on pk knit shirts so i might change some of the underlay settings but the big thing is the 3d satin stitch and if i click on one of these objects let's just turn this off and let's escape out of here and if I select that object right there and I go over to my fill settings I can see that the 3d satin is actually highlighted so what I'm going to do very quickly just to fix those up is I'm going to select that one and that one and get rid of the 3d satin stitch on both of those and I'm going to go over to stitching and I'm going to actually do a zigzag with an edge run so let's just make that a little bit smaller so I can see my edge run over here make that property a little bit bigger I'm going to do an edge run underlay on that object and I'm going to select this and do an edge run underlay on this one as well and that should give me cleaner lettering I'm also going to look at these objects and I can see that I would probably want to have an edge run on these as well uh, not really sure if I need a zigzag so I'm gonna get rid of actually let's just get rid of this one altogether I'm just gonna change the zigzag to an edge run and then I'm going to grab each of these objects and actually I need to change the outline of that to a regular satin stitch and now that I've changed it I have to go in and change the underlay again so let's do an edge run there and then I'm gonna come here and grab this one and I'm going to change this to a regular satin stitch as well so let's go to satin and then let's do an edge run and then this one here same thing I'm going to get rid of the zigzag and change this over to a satin stitch instead of 3d satin let's change that zigzag to an edge run and now I can see all of those objects if I look at the bird itself I can just grab all of the pieces of the dove and I'm holding the control key down while I'm selecting and once I have all of these selected I'm going to change that 
to a second underlay. I'll keep the zigzag there, but I'll do a edge run on those as well. And now if I look at the stitch count, I actually have 11,000 stitches. So we've already gotten rid of 8,000 stitches. The only other thing that I really want to make sure that I do is fix these areas here because these are going underneath instead of over top. So I'm going to go over to my objects list and let's just see if I can resequence these objects. If I look through the objects, I can see that I have one here and I have one right here. And let's just grab those together and let's see how they sew out. So now if I go to my player, I'm going to come in here. I can see that it's doing all of these objects here. Then it's doing that object. Let's turn off the 3D and let's see where it goes from here. It jumped over to that side. It's going up to the top. and then it's jumping down over there. So that's something that I'll want to fix. I'm going to grab all three of those and let's go here to my edit and see if we can adjust them to join closest point. Now that I've adjusted to join closest point, let's see with the player if it rectified the problem. So there and now it's continuing on. So that pretty much has cleaned up the design for the most part and I shouldn't really have as many issues now. So let's go here. I'm going to escape. I can see now that my satin stitches are underneath of the objects that's going around the outside. I no longer have my 3D on and I've reduced the stitch count by over 8,000 stitches. So without redigitizing the design, I think this is going to make a dramatic difference in the stitch quality. And it's, uh, you know, may not technically be perfect, but I didn't redigitize anything. I just changed some of the underlay settings and some of the stitch types, and I think we're going to get much better results. So I'm happy to say we saved the patient. We didn't have to redigitize anything, and all we had to do was adjust some of the objects within the sequence, have how they sew. We changed some of the underlay properties, and most importantly, we changed the stitch types, and that saved 8,000 stitches. So this is a win-win, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. To make your embroidery life easier, hit the subscribe button below to be notified of new tips and tricks videos, giveaways, and more. Plus take advantage of our digitizers cheat sheet and get a free embroidery design in the links below. The next step of your embroidery legacy starts here with ours.